I built five machine learning models to predict who will make what All-NBA team this season. And there's been a lot of takes, a lot of controversy about who should be placed where going around NBA media right now. And I wanted to get to the bottom of it by looking at the numbers because obviously this is a controversial discussion. We have three MVP candidates, two of them play the center position. So it's going to be tough to pick between Jokic and Embiid. I mean, we have Doncic. John Morant, Steph Curry, Devin Booker, all fighting for those top two guard spots. Those are four All-NBA first team caliber players. And there is a massive logjam at the forward position. So there's a lot of data, a lot of basketball that we have to parse through when picking these teams. So I'm going to give my takes, but it's going to be built off of these five machine learning models. So without further ado, let's dive straight into it. Hello everybody, Ben Rogers here with Courtside Guy, just breaking down who I think will make what all NBA teams with the aid of five machine learning models. And these models have data inputted. Obviously, there's a bunch of stuff that could have been inputted, but the results, the accuracies, the models produce the best results when it looked at team standing. And as with the MVP video, it's overall league standing, not conference by conference. It has your average points, rebounds, assists, steals, blocks. It looks at all those things. It looks at your P PR looks at your effective field goal percentage, win shares, and if you're an all-star or not, because that factors into if you were, you know, how voters are going to vote, and also looks at value over replacement players. So those are all the stats that this these models sort of take a look at. So let's see what the first one outputs. And the first one is a support vector regression model. And you look at these teams. These teams are pretty similar to what I've been seeing going around by NBA talking heads. You have Luka, John Morant is your top two guards, which... It might be controversial as Devin Booker's not on this first team. Obviously, he's on the second team with Steph Curry. Uh, Trey Young, Chris Paul making that, rounding out your third team with those guards. And then, obviously, in your forward positions, you're not you're not having this team without Giannis Antetokounmpo and even Jason Tatum there, your forward slots. And this, this model, Joel Embiid, takes the cake over Nikola Jokic, which is interesting enough because if you watched my uh, MVP video, you'd see Nikola Jokic edged out Joel Embiid in terms of uh, the MVP, MVP cases. Joel didn't get much love on that those models. So interesting to see Embiid take the top spot there. You have DeMar and Kevin Durant rounding out those forward positions. Obviously, Jokic making the second team if he's not on the first team. And then at the forward slots, you have LeBron, who averaged 30 points per game this season, which I guess makes sense. And Jimmy Butler, who's on the first seat of Miami Heat team. And Carl Anthony Towns being that center you that rounds out the squad. Now, you know, coming into this, obviously the numbers are unbiased. The numbers are unbiased, so I can't throw my Raptors love in there. I want to see Siaka make a few of these forward positions, but the probably the hottest take I've seen on that sort of list is Devin Booker, because Devin Booker is a guy that's on the first seed in the entire NBA, averaging 27, 5, and 5. I think it'd be ludicrous if he doesn't make this first team position. I know John Morant has been ridiculous on the number two seed in the Western Conference, but the stats are just pretty remarkable for Booker, and he played more games. He's more healthy than John Morant. Obviously, Luka Doncic himself, I think he's going to be a lock for that guard position on the first team as well. 28 points, 9 rebounds, 9 assists. These numbers are just video game numbers here. And his 3 point percentage, 35%, has been even more remarkable in the second half of the season. So, I, I think Luka and D Book are those top lock spots, but you know, the, the numbers are pointing to Job ja Morant, at least on the SVR model. And the SVR, that's one of the models that usually produces the most accurate insights. So that's a uh, that's something we gotta look at. That's something we gotta look at. Let's see what the second model has to say about these all NBA teams. And this one is wild. This one is wild. This is a random force regression model. And these can sometimes be hit or miss, especially with NBA standings. It had a solid MVP predictor, gave good results, but no Luka Doncic on this list. And I just showed those stats, which is insanity. Insanity to me. Uh, it's showing love to the Utah Jazz players with uh, Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert edging out, I guess, Luka and uh, Carl Anthony Towns on this list. Your forwards are staying similar in different orders. LeBron making the second team as a 12th seed or what is he, 12th, 11th seed in the Western Conference, so that's pretty crazy there. Joel Embiid once again edging out uh, Nikola Jokic at the center slot, and then Trey Young is pretty well locked in these, uh, in this this model. That's a, uh, you know, Donovan Mitchell is going to be one of those edge cases where we'll see if he's going to be able to sneak in at one of those guard slots. I personally don't think it's going to happen because as, as seen here, Chris Paul is making the second team on this list. I think Trey Young's a lock over Donovan Mitchell. 
you know, you're not getting in there over Curry, Jaw, Devin Booker, and, and Luka, unless unless they're a random forest progression model. So that's what the third one's saying, or second one's saying. Let's see what the third one has to break down. And wow, wow. I, uh, DeJounte Murray making the top seed. The de- decision tree regression model, this one is... This one's wild. At least we got Luca on here. At least we got uh, him popping out. But Jonte Murray, obviously an all-star this season, making the first team. And Jimmy Butler making a first team as well. This one, uh, you know, there's some defensive defensive stats going into the event stats. They might be looking heavily into this. Decision tree, random forest. Those are sometimes hit and miss ones that you get rocking. But, wow, Dejounte Murray there at your second team. Uh, Donovan Mitchell making it once again, and we have a Pascal Siakam sighting. Pascal Siakam sighting in that third team. I'm picking him, obviously, with my official NBA vote, with my, uh, with my, uh, for at least an All NBA second team, maybe All NBA, uh, at least All NBA third team, maybe All NBA second team. We'll see what happens, but I'm happy he's getting some love on this this model here. But yeah, Deshante Murray at that at that first team. He's been putting up some r- remarkable stats this season. Uh, that well, this is Jimmy Butler stats. He also made the first team. Twenty-one points, six rebounds, uh, six assists. I'm surprised just given the games played. That's also a, a feature in these models as well. It looks at how many games you played throughout the course of the season. So that's why on the first couple you probably didn't see Jimmy Butler too high, despite those numbers and despite that that ridiculous team record. But my goodness, my goodness, Dejounte Murray, twenty-one points. I guess he's averaging close to a triple-double, which will put you up there, and the two steals per game on top of it. DeJounte Murray is having a pretty ridiculously underrated season. 21-8-9. I know the Spurs just got knocked out of the plan, but shout out to DeJounte Murray. Those stats are pretty ridiculous. It makes sense. I don't think he's going to get it narrative-wise, and the Spurs have been struggling, but he should be getting more love than maybe a LeBron James or someone like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm flaming LeBron a little bit too much. I'm a LeBron stan. Let's see what the fourth model has to go. And this is a linear regression model. And we got, whew. Yeah, the three of these models are not looking, or these. this one's pretty looking pretty crazy. Usually linear regression is the worst one we produce. But Trey Young, once again, getting first team love. And you know, nothing too, too crazy in terms of the, the players that are getting uh, selected. Joel Embiid, once again, for the fourth straight model, getting put ahead of Nikola Jokic, which might be a hot take. Surprising for me, as I said in the first one, Nikola Jokic was getting all the love from the advanced stats in uh, in the MVP predictor, but no, he's getting the he's getting the second team consistently for uh, for these all these models being outputted and All Star guard, defensive potential All Defensive guy, Fred Van Vliet, making that All NBA third team with this model, so. Whew, that's a that's pretty crazy. And after doing this for a couple years, looking at the stats, you don't necessarily want to take these first team, second team, all verbatim. Now, if someone's making the first team every single time, then that's usually a good predictor that they're going to be on there. But it's usually about who's what players are getting put up there and getting selected by these models. So even though Trey Young is making it over a, a Luca and Luca once again not getting selected for this, which is mind-boggling to me. But the fact that these guys are consistently getting put on that list. Gives a good indication that they'll probably make the All-NBA team, but usually the best, the best ball I leave it for last, is anyone that's watched these videos before knows K Nearest Neighbors. It's my favorite, my favorite thing to look at when it comes to NBA stats. And this one, this one's pretty, pretty accurate, in my opinion. Yeah, Luca, John Morant in your first team, and support vector regression in K Nearest Neighbors, they usually put out the best results. I'm surprised that once again, Devin Booker is uh is put on the second team with this this model. You got Giannis, Jimmy Butler, once again making the first team. I think the games played in real life is going to put him down below Jason Tatum, Kevin Durant, and these players. Joel Embiid, once again, the center slot, making the clean sweep over Nikola Jokic. Carl Anthony Towns back in this selection. Uh, and then your third team, Trey Young, making every single or predicted by every single model. I know some people were questioned whether or not he'd make it given the fact the Atlanta Hawks have struggled at points this season. But Donovan Mitchell over uh, over Chris Paul, maybe. I know the Jazz are getting a lot of flack right now, but Chris Paul is on the top team. I think Chris Paul is probably going to edge him out. But who knows? Donovan Mitchell's stats are pretty ridiculous himself. KD and Pascal Siakam, my guy. Pascal, who himself is putting up some ridiculous stats this season. 23 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists. 
34, 34% from the three-point line, 50% from the field, steal per game, putting up solid defensive stats, and doing it on a team where fifth seed in the Eastern Conference, and he wasn't playing the first start of the year when the Raptors were struggling and stuff. I'm expecting Pascal Siakam to make an All-NBA third team, but... You know, the All-NBA models, they, they're they kind of all over the place. I'm excited. The, I'm happy that the Raptors got a few representation. Fred Van Vliet, Pascal Siakam got predicted. But let me know what you guys think. Put down your All-NBA team guesses, predictions in the comment section below. Lots of stuff to sort of dive into. I think of one thing to sort of take away from this vid. One thing to take away. Show some love to DeJounte Murray, who quietly put up a ridiculous, ridiculous season. 21 points, 8 rebounds, 9 assists, as I mentioned, but... Fire, fire stuff. Anyways, you guys are the best for making this far. Check out uh, check out the Courtside Digest Instagram, TikTok, all that fun stuff. Marcel's been killing it on these vids, so subscribe to the channel. And that's enough of me. Enough of me rambling. I'm signing off. Cheers.